parts about this whole thing is the lower keys. So they used to give you cups of food and then you got this uh, stick with food on it. So we'll see. Yeah, so they put water in and this powder on there and then the birds just kind of come on down and uh, they eat. So this is cool. Gives the kids an opportunity to uh, kind of see the birds up close. That's pretty neat. So the whole, the total experience does allow you to do some pretty neat things. And give you the chances to see birds up close and uh, kind of what they do. So it's pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah, my oldest son, Joseph, he's got one sitting right on his handy, and that's pretty cool. Talk about the total experience, that's pretty neat. And here's uh, my wife with Hope, and they're uh, hanging on to it and eating away. Pretty cool. There you go. Oh, hi. What do you think, Hope? Oh, she's enjoying this. So I would say this has been a fun, entertaining thing for the kids to be able to feed the birds and get up close to them. And uh, that's pretty neat. So they got quite a few lorikeets in here, and uh, the staff's been super awesome and uh, accommodating. So that's awesome. And the kids are enjoying it very much. <laughs> Your hope is being able to feed the birdies too. <laughs> All right, so we're taking a quick break, getting some lunch. And uh, I think we're gonna break the video into two parts, part one and part two, just uh, in case it's a little too long on the editing part of it. So uh, if it's not, I'll make it one, but we're gonna break for lunch and we'll see you back here in a little bit. All right, so our lunch is done, and there's a little garden. We're in the Asia section. It goes right down to the Trout River. And so we're going to I'll show you the little garden up here. And they got a nice little picnic area, which we would have sat and ate lunch at. But we sat um, over by the uh, one of the restaurants. But this is nice. they got a couple benches and tables and so forth over here to eat at. So um, we're going to go check the rest out. So here's the garden that they have and paths to walk on. You know, a little... Uh, waterfall over there and uh, just cool little areas to sit and um, different types of plants and so forth so it's pretty cool all right so here's a bunch of otters yes they're on dry land but if you go to the other side uh, there's a huge water area that they swim around in and so forth but it looks like they're uh, enjoying the warmer weather right now I'm surprised they're not out in the sun and there's also uh, Leave some sort of babirusas in here as well. All right, so here we have what they call, a, uh, if I pronounce it right, a warty pig. So there's one kind of nudging around. There's another one right there. It's got like a mohawk. Pretty cool. Gonna come up here and say hi. There he goes, running through the water. Maybe he'll come over here in the deep spot. Yes. And he'll go take a mud bath, probably. Found some more otters. There's a couple over there in the water. We get those a lot up there in Denellen and the Rainbow River, you see them too. There's one over there playing around in the water. Here's another otter play area. 
And then that other glass room you can see him playing in there. Oh, here's the, um, I forget what they call them, Arabusas. Kind of hanging out here, huh? There are tons of otters, though. Tons and tons of otters. It's fun. We've seen them feed them and how they go nuts over catching a fish and eating them. That's that's a lot of uh, fun. In this area, we've got the mangled tigers. There's one back there taking a nap. See them? Tiger room. They've got a huge area and they've got areas that they can crawl around up top from place to place is pretty neat so they've got this giant room here and system where the lions can play and they can go from room to room and they got cool tunnels so they can be moved from place to place there's one there laying down there's one back yeah he's pacing there i think he wants out of that So they've got this huge uh, area here, and then this water area for the tigers to go in, and some big fish in here somewhere. Where they go? They're over here. A couple of fish in there. Kind of reminds me of being in the Rainbow River in Helen. You can uh, see them. Yep, big old fish. So they've got a nice waterfall here for them. Nice information about them. And uh, and this is another area that the tigers can be in. So. The otters look like a bunch of kids playing in the water, huh? in for their afternoon swim. This is the Komodo dragon. Smart guy, sitting out in the sun, considering how cool it is here in Florida. The high is about 70 degrees today, so. He's sunning himself. So I apologize. I got so excited walking in here. I forgot to uh, show you the Asian garden. But it is. This is really nice. It's very tranquil. It's you got little waterfalls and the ponds with the koi. So I'm backtracking a little bit to show you kind of what it was when you first walk in on the one side. And uh, just a nice, nice, really quiet little park path. They got paths all through here. And now I'm going to zoom out a little bit. There we go. Kind of get a picture of the whole thing. Looks like they're lanterns and stuff. That's pretty neat. So you got a nice pavilion overlooking this whole thing. So. And there's a nice big pond with a bunch of koi in it. So there's a bunch of koi, and I think there might even be some carp in there. I'm not 100% sure that looks kind of like a carp, but I know koi looks like that too, so. But it's cool. Cool garden. Got it nicely done. Got some nice uh, flowers in here. There's another, here's a bridge you have to walk over to between the two ponds. Kinds of koi and stuff. Uh, I like this thing, a nice little area here with little like um, cafe tables here overlooking the one pond. So this is a nice garden. That's where the train goes by. And uh, well, that's a big koi. Cool. They call these like uh, garden windows, so it's like bushes, and you can kind of see into the garden from the window. 
which I think are pretty neat. So, thought I'd share that. All right, so all this bamboo is on the entrance exit area to the Asia section. So we're on our way back out. Um, the carousel, the 40 theater thing, the lorikeet feeding, the giraffe feeding, and the stingray bay feeding is all part of the full experience plus the train ride. So I would definitely say it's worth it and would encourage people to do that. Um, is it brings a lot of fun to the kids and they get to enjoy some things so in this section usually a big fountain that's got water shooting up but it looks like they've got a platform there for Christmas but uh, there's also a kid playground area with water in it um, for kids to uh, play around in so uh, the 4D theater max thing is back here um, they got it's like a, a little short movie, animated movie, and then stuff about conservation. So, there's a restaurant here, restrooms. We're gonna go check out the carousel and let the kids ride that. This is like the splash park and like a little kitty maze area um, where they can run around in there. That's pretty neat. Splash ground, all that, so. But the carousel, boy, they've been after that. They've been wanting to go on a carousel, so we're going to get in line and uh, let them ride the carousel. They can handle it. And here we go. Around on the carousel. Woo! -hoo. I am not a carousel surrounding round and round person. I'll probably start throwing up if I do that. Kids like to ride in circles and go up and down, not me. I can do that on a boat, but that's about it. It's for the kids, though, not for me, that's for sure. There's a jaguar. We're gonna come and see what the jaguars over here somewhere. Here we go. Here we go. Is it a tiger? It's a jaguar. Jaguar. Oh, jaguar. I wish you'd jump in. That's pretty cool. That's why they usually shoot a shotgun at them and put them to sleep before they go in there. There's a cappy bar over here. There's a squirrel monkey. Came to say hi. She's, she's not looking. Look at it. Look at it. She knows she's not looking. Up, up, up. Oh, she's not doing on to get her to look up. Like, oh, it's going away. Don't bang on the window. Now she sees now it. Now she sees it. Yeah, yeah now yeah. she's pointing. Yes. Yeah. It's a monkey. It's a monkey. There's a monkey here. I moved to a different angle. Right there. The one, oh, yeah, there's one over there on the rope. Right there. Not sure if you're all going to be able to see, but the anteater's way... There he is back there. That's a monkey, I think, on the on the rock. And then there's a giant anteater moving around in the back. Daddy, come! A big anteater! Oh, where'd he go? Oh, he went back into his area. That's pretty cool, though. Now here's a close-up of the anteater. He came out to say hi. That's about as close as I'll ever get to one. I'm looking for some ants. Up goes the baby monkey. There's another monkey right here. Too. The ant eater. Big old boy there. 
And for the most appropriate part, Wild Florida. So in here we have gators and manatees and stuff. So we're going to see if we can spot a couple gators in their uh, pond over here. Sometimes you'll see them in this water right here, but I don't see any. So we'll see if we can find some on the other side. There's one in the backdrop. Some sitting in the background. Usually a whole bunch of them in here. Let me see the one. There's one gator. This is one of my favorite sections here with the eagles. So I'm going to see if I can uh, zoom up and let y'all see. There he is right there. Beautiful birds. He's just sitting there. All right, I think in here we have a coyote. And if I'm, ah, oh, there he is right there. Definitely native to Florida. A coyote. He's uh, lazily got himself up there on top of the uh, hutch. He was walking around on, we were on the train earlier. He just decided to come take a look-see. Well, that's a coyote. I've had him in my neighborhood. And uh, he's either looking for food or uh, a little taste of a child's hand. Hmm. Anyways, that's pretty up close. That's about as up close and personal as I'd ever want to get to a coyote. Especially a wild one crane and a couple jakes which is the male turkey in case you didn't know the beard they have off the front under their neck let's see if i can zoom in on one of them this guy that's closest to us let's see that guy has got a small beard which when you're hunting they got to be a lot larger than that one they got to be the size of this guy's in order to shoot him there you go There's a manatee in the back pond, in the back pool back there. Just went under. We have a bear all the way in the back. We'll see if he wants to come back, sir. All right, there you go. It's a better shot of the bear. Trying to get the glare off. There we go. All right, everyone. Well, that's a, a good uh, tour of Jacksonville Zoo. We're going to get ready to get out of here. And uh, my uh, phone's about dead anyway. So, hope you all enjoyed the uh, tour of Jacksonville Zoo. We've always enjoyed coming here. Um, you know, we get here. We're here for... Eh, five hours and uh the kids enjoy it by the time we you know eat and take a break and do some of the things here so uh here's a bear maybe we'll get a close-up of the bear here but uh hope you all enjoyed it and uh if you liked our uh, video give us a thumbs up and uh we uh hope you enjoy it and that we'll see you next time on the next adventure that we have here in uh florida all right so again that was it for our Jacksonville Zoo um, experience for today and I hope you all kind of got an idea of what we do what the Jacksonville Zoo is like and uh, it's fun maybe you'll bring your kids one day to it especially in November like I said kids 13 and under are free so it makes the uh, cost of it uh, great and then if you want to do the extra experience it's just 10 bucks so definitely worth worth the uh, ten dollar so uh, again, thank you all for watching, and we hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. I didn't want to forget the gift shop either. Lots of different zoo trinkets and different things.
There's some cool things there. 